Welcome, this is my first video on my gardening series. I'm very, very new to this and inexperienced, so I'm 25 years old and have cerebral palsy. My parents like gardening and like being outdoors. My dad recently passed away and I think the reason why I started all this is to keep his memory and keep his garden going. I've recently, or over the past few days etc, I've started getting into house plants a bit more. So my mum's always had orchids and plants like that so I've started getting into those and I'm just looking after a few for her. So the first one that I've got or she's got is, if I just spin you around, is a jade plant or a jade tree. I don't actually know the proper names for these but I will get better at them as I go along. Then the second is a sort of cacti. It's a Christmas cactus being in our greenhouse just over there and it's not really been watered or not been the right weather for it. I've brought it inside into a warm temperature bedroom just hopefully bit of heat and then it should hopefully recover. What I'm planning to do now is my first ever repotting. So this jade plant here has got a few leaves that have started to root. So what I'm planning to do is take you over to my mum's greenhouse, show you how to repot and work out myself how to do it. So now we've just come downstairs and another one of my mum's plants or that I've got for Mother's Day is a succulent so it's a kind of cactus so I think they call this the zebra cactus just because of the colour of the leaves underneath and then the second one I'm not too sure what this is called so this has really really beautiful red flowers on it I got this for again not this year but the previous years Mother's Day present, I overwatered it and nearly killed it, but it had no leaves on it literally. So now you can see it's flowering and really, really come on. Hopefully, I can continue to get some flowers on it and I'll find out what the name is and try and pronounce it. Another plant that I take a lot of care and looking after, I got this for my dad who recently passed away, and this was for his birthday or Father's Day. So I remember hanging it from my, inside of my car off the coat hook and just to get it home in one piece. It's quite cool basically. These catch all insects and type things. It's nice in a warm condition and it's just hanging from our porch roof inside at the minute. I've just trimmed it back, I did a bit of research on it but I don't know if my research is right so I've, it was growing quite tall so all I've done is just trimmed a few of the leaves off, cut it back to the stem just to hopefully help it all bush out instead of growing quite tall. I'm just approaching my mum's greenhouse now. It's got <laughs> chicken corn that shouldn't be there and then just the repotting stuff that I'm going to do in just a normal gardener's workshop I'm guessing. So we've got some beans or peas coming up at the minute that we're going to put in our veggie patch just around there and some more of the cacti, Christmas cacti, and then just some different fuchsias and different stuff. So this is where I'm going to do my repotting for my jade plant. Here I have my two leaves. Oh, I'll just shut the door to keep the warmth in. So here are my two jade leaves. They did have some roots on that <laughs> might be in my pocket somewhere. All I'm going to do is just pot them up. So put quite a bit of compost in these just because they're quite low down. Normally you'll put a bit less in since it's just one leaf and I'm just going to put a bit more in. Just press it down and just put a bit more over the top. Just press it down that bit more. Just put that one over there. This is quite moist anyway. This is all I've done here, potted them up. I just pressed the soil down. So I've just come back inside after repotting the J plants and as you can see I've got both of them here. I've moved 
the big one into my bedroom just for a bit of greenery. My bedroom is a northwest facing window so it doesn't get a lot of light whereas this one here in the spare bedroom is a northeast facing window so it directly gets the sun most of the day. Here we have my mum's orchids I was telling you about. So this one is a little one as you can see it's a bit half upside down. The other one is a bigger one. She's had these for quite a few number of years now and not repotted them. They're always hard to grow and hard to repot and maintain the leaves but since they're looking a little worse for wear I've ordered some orchid potting compost so I'm going to be potting these in the next couple of days when the um, the compost arrives. Because I'm quite inexperienced I know the informal names of plants so the common names but I'm not too clued up and gend up on the abstract names so that's one thing that I'm hoping to learn. Because of the virus at the minute, COVID-19 virus, all the garden centres are shut. People have been taking advantage of online services, deliveries. I've ordered a bromeliade Guzmania, I think that's called. Today is Tuesday and then that's going to be here either tomorrow or Thursday. I've ordered some potting compost so that will keep me busy for my orchids. Repotting those because my mum's not repotted those in quite a while or ever. So if you're inexperienced as I am, we hopefully can learn together and grow together. Like this video, comment what you like about it and share with others.